Hi there everyone, this is another MZ Wallace bag to show you today. This is the Small Crosby, and this review video is going to be more of an at-a-glance sort of first impressions video rather than an in-depth review video. Um, mainly because I just don't know if I am going to be keeping this particular bag, but I did want to get a video out to you so that you have an idea of what this bag looks like and what types of items, typical items, it can hold. Um, before I decided to send it back. Um, so I just wanted to let you see it and decide for yourself whether it is a bag that will work for you. I picked up this bag during a recent sale that MZ Wallace had on their website. It was during the holidays. And so this um, particular style, the Small Crosby, was a style that I was always curious about in the past, but I just could never quite bite the bullet when it was full price. So when it was marked down, that's when I decided to go for it, test it out and see if I would like it. And this particular print is called Night Garden. It's a retired print now, so you can't really find it anymore, except for maybe on eBay. Um, but this was a really pretty um, print that I was curious about also in the past, but still didn't want to pay full price for it. Picked it up during the sale. And after filling it up with some of my typical items that I would bring on a weekend out with like me and my kiddos, um, I am just not sure about it. I don't think I like it very much. It is a little too bulky for my taste. You can see it's pretty thick, just filled up with some typical items. It is very, very wide. You can see the bottom here. I think I measured this width. It's about five to six inches that is going to be hanging off of your hip. I just don't really like the way that this bag hits me on the side of my body. Uh, it's not comfortable. It kind of felt like this huge brick was hanging off the side of my body, so I wasn't really a big fan of that. So um, I think this bag is ultimately going to be going back, but I wanted to get the footage out to you so that you have an idea of what it looks like, what it can hold. So we're just going to jump into the pockets. These are just, again, typical items that I would bring around with me on weekends. This first pocket is just this very simple horizontal zip pocket on the front. It's the only pocket on the front, and this is what I would put my cell phone in. So this is my iPhone XS, and this is pretty much all that I would put in this particular front pocket. Uh, you could fit some other smaller items here, but I don't really like clogging my pockets up, so I just kept my phone in there. You can see that the lining of this bag is really nice, kind of blush pink, really cute and pretty. So this is just the first zip pocket here, and then it has two, this dual zip compartment on the top, which I was very intrigued by, um, but it's just kind of, after filling it up with my stuff, I was just kind of eh afterwards. So. This is what I would keep in the front zip pocket here. Um, just on the top, I just have my sunglasses kind of sitting loosely there. And then I just have the little market purse that came with the bag. This is a very cute little pouch. Uh, very, very pretty print placement. I was very happy with that. So I'm kind of sad that I'll probably have to send it back, but this is the market purse. And in here, I just decided to stuff a couple of those reusable shopping bags always have to have these with me when we're out and about on the weekends. So this is the market purse. And then also in here in the two slip pockets that are on the front of the bag here, I just stashed some sunblock, some brush on sunblock. And also in there I have a little chapstick hidden, tucked away, an EOS chapstick. And then on the other slip pocket here I have the just a little hand sanitizing spray, as well as some hand cream by this company called Public Goods. Loving them so far. Those are That's it for the two slip pockets on the front of the bag there. And then on the back it has a long horizontal zip pocket. And this is the pocket that has the kind of bonus slip pockets. And another thing that I will note about this bag is each compartment greatly affects the other. So anything you fill up in one side of the bag is going to impact the space that you have on the other side of the bag. It's just, I guess, it's just unavoidable with the, the way that these compartments are placed so close to each other. So it's kind of just hard to get in and out of these pockets. It's a little tight with the space because this back compartment is full of stuff. So that's just one thing I'll kind of note. It's not that user friendly in this regard. Your space is always impacted by all of the other pockets. So in these uh, bonus slip pockets here, I just stashed my portable battery charger as well as the charging cable, and then another package of tissues just in the main zippered part there. 
And then this bag also has the kind of business card holder, this little very, very thin flap of just nylon sticking out there. And then it also has a little key leash to attach to the market purse. So that's it for the first compartment of the bag here. Then in the back zippered compartment, I just reserved for my kiddos things that I would typically take on the weekends. So for them, I would always need a Y pouch filled with a hand and face wipes. And then I have just a little notepad of blank white paper that would go with this little container of just mini colored pencils. It's from a company called Brandless. And so these I would always just use at restaurants to keep them busy because they love to draw. And then I also have our just portable cutlery sets that I would also use at restaurants. There's a fork, spoon, knife, chopsticks, all wrapped up into one in these little containers. And then I would also, of course, have little snack bags. So these are reusable snack bags that I would fill up with crackers, goldfish, pretzels, things like that. And that would be it for the back pouch here. And I will note that this particular pouch or compartment does not have any interior pockets, no interior zippers or anything. It's just one big pouch. And then on the very back, there is another zippered pocket, very similar to the front side, but kind of more hidden um, behind a little flap here. So this is the back pocket, and in here I would just throw my wallet, which is what I've been using forever now, Jujube card case. And I will note that the height of this Jujube card case is about the height of this interior zippered pocket here. So I'll just show you real quickly. This thing will fit pretty much from the bottom to the top of this pocket here. That's the max height of this interior pocket. You're not gonna be able to go much higher than this, than a card case. So that is pretty much all that can go into this bag, at least comfortably, because again, each compartment is going to affect the space you have in the other compartments. So maybe that's another kind of gripe that I have about this particular bag. I mean, of course, that's natural for space to be affected by other pockets, but um, I just felt that to be the case very severely with this particular bag. Uh, I don't know why it is on this bag as opposed to any other bag, but it just seemed to bother me a lot more on this bag. So one thing I will note also is that it does have several strap options, just like the other Crosby bags do. So you can see I have the adjustable crossbody, the messenger strap attached, as well as the kind of chain leather strap. It's more decorative. I, I, don't nor I wouldn't normally keep this on my bags just because it adds a lot of weight but um, for the purposes of this video, I wanted to have it attached there for you so to, you could see. And then it also has a third strap option. This is the flat leather strap that you can attach to the D-rings on the sides of the bag. And this just adjusts like a belt buckle. It's got some nice flat leather. So that is pretty much it for this bag. Um, again, it's just an at-a-glance review video because I don't think I will be keeping this one. There is another bag that I got and picked up at the same time that I picked up this one during the, the holiday sale. It's the Small Roxy and it's very, very similar in size to this bag and it's similar in function, at least the function that I wanted it for, which was mainly to use on the weekends. But the Small Roxy has a bonus in that I can also wear that one to work. So I can go work to weekend really easily with that bag. This one um, being mainly a crossbody bag, I would not really use for work. so. I think I just can't really justify keeping this one, plus the fact that I just don't really like how wide it is. And um, so this one's ultimately gonna go back, but I hope this particular review video was helpful for you so you get an idea of what it looks like. And you can see when it's empty, it is very, very flexible. You can just kind of scrunch it down and toss it in a bigger bag if you want. You can, I like how you can also remove all the straps. I mean, you could, I suppose, Theoretically use this as a like a clutch or like a even Gosh, I guess I suppose you could even use it as like a toiletry bag and throw it in your suitcase if you really wanted to but Anyway, I won't be doing those things. I think it's going to be something that's going back in the end But I hope that it was helpful for you if you have any questions or comments feel free to post below Thank you so much for watching